this is Tamara, signing out with some more Shadow of the Colossus Remake. Alright, so last time I beat the 16th and final Colossus. It was a real pain, because I kept going thrown off, because the camera... Mm, I'll get into my rants later. But, anyway, so we were in the middle of a cutscene that happened right after it, and I figured, I don't know how long the cutscene's gonna be, or what the ending's like, so... We just got it in this cutscene here, where this group of horse... Or, these group of people have just arrived at the temple that we were at. They must be villagers. Like I said, probably villagers from the same tribe or whatever as our two characters. Just put the controller down. Well, now it's just going to be slowly them investigating. Let's see that last coloss. Lord, I'm on. And the last colossi statue breaks. We killed all the Colossi. They were the seals that kept the god at bay. Now he's going to be released and we got to stop him now. I don't know. He was an evil god. I'm taking a guess. Or is she going to become a Colossi? Rise and shine. You didn't get transported to the temple like all the other times. This skin looks all pale. They're all gathering around. I don't remember this girl's name. Mona? Was that? <laughs> he just gets dropped. Alright, there goes the sword. The spirits, yeah, he looks totally corrupted. Oh, he's got even got horns growing now. Is he turning into a colossi himself? So it was you after all. Well, who'd you think? If the girl went missing and then he went missing, what did you, would you think? Do you imagine, do you know the hell I've had to went through, I went through to get this far? I can kill Colossi, what chance do you think you guys have at stopping me now? Down he goes. An arrow in the knee. <laughs> I haven't listened to that song in a long time. An inappropriate time to bring it up. It's better to put him out of his misery than to exist cursed as he is. It, you can try. Come on, my ghost friends. Help me out. Yep. 
if he's a colossi, you gotta aim for the head. Maybe the stomach and back. So how did you guys plan on killing me? <sighs> Can he die? Is he still dying or... What about bringing her back to life? Oh, he's dying, isn't he? Oh yeah, so that actually killed him, Jesus. Now the spirits will haunt that one soldier. Huh. He's getting back up. What the heck? Huh. Ah, okay. Dorman have arisen. In okay, so yeah, Dorman. All right, I see. So yeah, Dorman was really an evil god. Okay, so those weren't judgmental souls at all. They were just Dorman. <laughs> gathering together <clears throat> what about bringing her back is there still oh now we're in control I'm trying to attack do I just plow through them Okay, I guess just move forward. Do I? No. Wait, we need losses. Still control like crap. Turn around. Okay, there we go. We just clumsily turn around. Oh, God, come on. I guess I gave the Colossi too much credit. They control just as badly as I do. But wait, so I'm not even going to attack them? I just had to turn around? Come on. What was the point of that? That could have been a cutscene. Sorry, I'm not trying to be... S not trying to complain about this big reveal, but... God dang it, come on.
Right, is this must be how they're doing the seal? Will it even work? Goes dormant, but looks like our guy is still screwed. <laughs> nope, wait, can we fight it? Nope. Okay, this is just like the waterfall glitch. Okay, he's just. Oh, yeah, fine, let's just run into it. And he still trips. We're gone. Okay, I get how that was supposed to be symbolic about, you know, the desperate struggle mechanically to try and get away, but not necessary. I'm sorry, I feel bad for not liking this game more. Oh no, they're just getting out of here. Oops. No, the bridge support. The guy in the back is so screwed. I wonder if I maybe did better attacks early on, could I have killed them all and then just done something else? I'm curious. Well, even after all that, Dorman couldn't have kept his promise and revived her then? We did his bidding unknowingly, and so we still get nothing. Wait, she's moving. Okay, maybe he does have some. Say what you will about Dorman being a deceiver, he at least is honorable. <laughs> Sorry. Well, now she's awake with no way out of this air, this <laughs> land. And with probably even no idea of how, why she's even here. She is going to be so confused and lonely. Oh. Can I get... Oh, she's got the frickin' horse. Yeah, that thing will keep you company. He's banged up. Okay, broken... Well... I wonder if 
the aggro was actually her horse. That'd be interesting. I guess that would make sense. Hmm. In memory of... Alright. Then it goes to the corpse. Of... Okay, then the corpses of the Colossi. Okay, so that was Shadow of the Colossus, the remake. Oh, I wanna love. I wanted to love this game, and I feel bad that I don't love it more now that I played it. But this is a game I've wanted to play for so long, and now that I actually have, I just feel so upset with it. I'm sorry. I really tried. And I know some of my complaints are probably pointless, but at the same time, it's like, for the first time playing this game... It, okay. Let's get the positives out of the way. The Colossi are really cool in design, if not all the time. I said it'd stay positive, but... Okay, where to begin? Where to be begin? Screw that snake. Okay, the Colossi were really cool in design, and some of them were incredible boss battles and it looked the it looked the game itself looks really nice it does it looks really cool not much to explore but that's not I don't think that's really the point it's more about the quest in finding these things and um, trying to rescue that girl and um, well and then the thing the thing is it I remember originally why it became... Apparently, originally, why one of the reasons it became a cult classic is because it was just... The controls weren't the best. And some of the people just couldn't get over the control scheme or how the game felt to play mechanically. And that held the game back quite a bit. And I can totally see that... And it's kind of upsetting that the remake, which supposedly made that a lot better, it still doesn't feel good. It trying to control the aggro is a pain because either you're going straight, either you're not turning or you're turning too much. And then you just end up crashing or whatever. And climbing the Colossi is cool, but it can get finicky. The camera can get stuck, the... Climbing, it's confusing and disorienting, which I get. That, that's, get it? It's supposed to be that way? That, it's supposed to be disorienting because of what you're doing? But when it becomes un, really obnoxious gameplay, that's a detriment into itself. Okay? And... Let him finish. No man shall ever trust place. Now yeah, they can get down, get a rope, climb down. Alright, so they're still... Alright, so yeah, mechanically, just, there were plenty of annoyances that just made certain sections really bad to play. And I also didn't like the guiding light by the sword. It's a cool idea, and I get it, You, but it's not like there's many secrets to the world. It's not like there's anything to hide. So it, it's just kind of obnoxious and unnecessary in, to me. And even the story... Okay, I, I understand the idea of the story. What the heck? Wow, that's weird. Okay. Baby Colossi. So is that ba like a baby dormant, or is that our baby character 
now also with some Colossi influence. God, how are you going to raise that kid in this wasteland? The horse is just like, screw this, I'm done. But, and okay, the story has some interesting... I. <clears throat> it's a really interesting and deep, you know, uh, metaphorical story. One of those things. Where, it's like, what... How much will you corrupt yourself to save someone you love? And, you know, what our character goes through and what ends up happening and this whole situation. And the thing with Dorman was actually pretty cool. But I've said this in other games like Beyond. Well, Beyond's a bad example. But I said this in other games where it's like if the game's not great mechanically or to play then it can have a major effect on how you feel about the story. Because you're already feeling down about how the game is on one front. It just kind of, for me anyways, it bleeds over to the other front. So... It's like... I don't know. <sighs> I don't know if another factor that's affecting my enjoyment was like all the years of praise I've heard. It's like maybe I was expecting something. Well, I don't know. Maybe I was expecting too much. Maybe. I don't know. There's a deer. That's something. I don't know. I just wish I loved this game more than I do. How is it in total? It's okay. That's about it. If you can get past the controls, there are some really fantastic bosses, and... <laughs> that's about it. The story is interesting, if, you know, uh, very brief. And... Other than that, yeah, it's just okay. I'm sure I'll play it again, no doubt. I might even play it off camera... Maybe then I'll mess around, and that was on normal. Maybe if I played it on easy. I don't know what the difference the difficulty makes, if any. I mean, there's tons of stuff to unlock. There's stuff to do. Sorry, I know I complained about running out of stamina and getting thrown off when, you know, I could have spent the time wandering around the barren wastelands trying to find those lizards or whatever, but that just felt so unnecessary. So, I don't know. I feel bad not liking this game more than I do, and it's just it. What have I forgotten? Right, swimming's also awful because it's so slow. Sorry, it, it just... I feel bad. I feel like I rage too much playing this. I feel like I'm giving it a hard time. But I really try, and I'm trying to be nice. But I just can't help but feel the way I do. I'm not saying it's overrated. I'm not saying Shadow of the Colossus is overrated. I can totally understand how, <clears throat> you know this became a cult classic, and how people... Stop, like, what? No, sorry. No, I can totally see how this became a cult classic, and why people love it so much, and why some people call it their one of their favorite games. I totally understand that. And the first time playing... But for my first time playing through it, and on the remake, where things were apparently fixed and modernized, it just doesn't feel that way. And so, I don't know. First time through, the game is a bit of a pain. If you can stomach it, can't won't take it that long. How much long did this take me? Enter time attack mode, press R2, whatever. New game plus in Mirror World, alright. Yeah, I thought that cuts it. Er, cutscenes would be long. It's almost been 30 minutes already. 
After that's bi me bitching like usual. <laughs> oh, is it just starting from the cuts first cutscene all over again? All right, let's see. It should tell me my time, right? A little under five hours, huh? Feels like it's been longer. Been recording for longer than five hours. I know that much, but. Yeah, okay, so give or take five, six hours, I'll round up, just for the sake of time, because I've had to shut the game off a couple of times because of various bugs and other stuff. So yeah, first time through the game is a bit of a pain. If you can stomach some of the bad mechanics, you'll have fun. But for me, mechanics and s gameplay and story are equally important in some respects. I mean, it varies by game, but in a game like this where, I don't know, I'm just rambling. I am should just shut up. Well, at least I can finally say I played through Shadow of the Colossus. I'll probably play it again, but not for a while. Would I recommend it? Yeah, again, I understand why people love this game so much. And I suppose, you know, when it came out, people weren't. How do I put this? People weren't as picky and could stomach the bad controls a little bit more. And by the time they got to their second or their third playthrough, the, everything just felt natural. So maybe back then, people didn't mind so much. But today, for me, the first time through, the mechanics just don't hold up. And even if they've been modernized, it doesn't feel like it. Or if they were modernized, it doesn't feel good. So, yeah, I hate to be a Debbie Downer about this, but, yeah, that's Shadow of the Colossus. That's about all there needs else that needs to be said. So, regardless, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe and all that. This is Tamara, signing off, and thank you for watching me play Shadow of the Colossus Remake.